So what is the difference between JSON Web Tokens and OAuth 2? Well, the thing is, uh, you can't really compare them because like they're different things, right? JSON Web Tokens describe like tokens and OAuth is like an authorization framework that allows uh, third party applications to get limited access to an API on behalf of a user or on behalf of themselves. So as like a service account. Right, so for example, this draw.io account is saving the file I'm currently editing in my Google Drive. So that would mean I am talking to the uh, OAuth, the Google o, uh, OAuth authorization server that gives me like an access token. And then this third party app like diagrams.net is pushing like the content to my Google Drive, right? And the thing is that actually JSON web tokens might be used in OAuth itself but they don't have to be according to the current spec. With this third party application, you somehow get like an access token by typically orchestrating an approval flow. So the OAuth authorization code grant, and then you get this access token and this is the one that you can actually use. And the format of this access token is actually not predefined in the OAuth uh, core specification. There are a few rules for this token obviously so it's like a bureau token it has to be alphanumeric and so on so there are some rules as to like what characters you can use but in general there's like no restrictions so they don't mandate that it has to be a structured token right a json web token is a structured token because it contains information and when i, when I talk about json web tokens here i mainly mean json web signature tokens and it's quite interesting because as it, it turns out that for most like all solutions, uh, the industry seems to have decided that these tokens should be JSON Web Signature tokens. So the specification officially does not require them to use JSON Web Signature tokens, but they say, well, it just makes sense because if I have a JSON Web Signature token, I can just validate it and I don't have to hit token introspection endpoint. And this is very interesting. So if you want to learn more about that there's actually a draft about standardizing this and it basically just explains what i just said over here um, it's like the first sentence the original oauth authorization framework does not mandate any specific format for access tokens so you can pretty much pick whatever as long as it's alphanumeric and you know there's a few other exceptions described in here um, and they say, well, yeah, that's totally fine and so on. But oftentimes, like if you have federated identity providers, then it makes a lot of sense to use JSON Web Tokens. And then it basically goes on and says, hey, why don't we just use uh, JSON Web Tokens for uh, to provide these access tokens? Yeah, so the bottom line is you can't really compare them both. Most uh, solutions in the industry actually use JSON Web Signature Tokens as access tokens for OAuth, but they technically speaking don't have to but it makes a lot of sense yeah so that's it pretty much uh, thank you so much for watching uh, give the video a like and subscribe to the channel if you have a question just send me a tweet my twitter handle is at production coder so thank you so much and i'll see you around bye bye